video, we're going to go through the disassembly and reassembly and some maintenance tips on your TPX pistol. I'm going to first start off by removing the 1 8 bolts. I've already kind of done these, just kind of loosen them up just to kind of speed up the process. Um, you'll need a 1 8 Allen key for that. But before we even get into that, we'll just go ahead and remove our magazine. Set that off to the side. You want to make sure that you don't have a 12 gram in here and it's not aired up. So um, this one already doesn't have a 12 gram in there. We'll just remove the cap, CO2 cap. We'll set that off to the side. And then from there, like I said, I already loosened these up and I also loosened up the barrel. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll pull our receiver. And you'll notice that it, it'll be really tight to pull. What you could do is push on the front of the barrel, kind of force that in. And then from here, you should be able to pull that bolt right above your breech. And it'll make it a little bit easier to pull apart. Now, nothing should really spring out or pop out at you. We'll just go ahead and set our receiver off to the side over here. Our breech bolt. I want to leave that over there. Now, this is pretty much the inside of the TPX. You have your uh, puncture valve assembly, your uh, banjo fittings, along with the copper or brass, I'm sorry, brass tube. That's your gas line. You have your regulator in the back here. That's for like your velocity adjustments. And you have your, uh, your air valve and your firing valve assembly, along with your front bolt your front bolt return spring, and your buffer o-ring. You also have your breech. Um, this is uh, part of the barrel shroud, and then you have your barrel. So we'll go ahead, we'll remove our barrel, set that off to the side. Now what, what you'll see happen is uh, you can kind of see how this springs up a little bit. That's your breech and your bolt assembly. You can kind of see how that will pop up a little bit, and that's okay, that's normal. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll remove our barrel shroud, our breech, and then you have your ball latch that's directly under the breech. You also have, and this is very hard to see with the with the uh, table cover here, but you also have uh, a little clear piece that's your breech window, so you can see the paintballs from the top of the breech. You have your bolt spring. You have your buffer o-ring, then we'll go ahead and pull out our bolt assembly. So you have your puncture valve assembly right here, your gas line, your regulator assembly, your front bolt, and your valve assembly. That's pretty much just the basic teardown of your TPX. Uh, most people, they won't even take it any further than that. This is pretty much just to disassemble it, do some quick cleaning, and uh, just putting it back together. Um, some of the maintenance areas, um, obviously your front bolt. A lot of people, you know, they'll uh, clean any paint that might be on the front bolt area, and they'll re-lubricate it. Along with your spring, you might get a little paint on the spring or in the breech. Um, this, you know, the breech, if you ever get any paint in there, or any dirt or debris, I usually just rinse it out. You know, make sure it's real nice and dry, put everything back together. But that's pretty much the basic teardown of the TPX. And we'll go ahead and I'll kind of put it back together and go over some things as we're putting it back together. With your puncture valve assembly, you have your gas line, and there's some really, really small O-rings on the gas line assembly. You want to make sure that when you're putting that back in, you want to make sure that you're getting it kind of evenly and then just slowly pushing that in because if you know if it's kind of crooked and you're trying to push your gas line in there you'll cut those o-rings they're very very easy to cut so you want to make sure that you take a little extra care when putting your gas line back into those assemblies we have your regulator assembly same same thing over here you want to make sure that you're putting that gas line in there real nice and smooth and you're kind of being careful of cutting that o-ring you also have your uh, your valve assembly there's also a small gas line that connects the valve assembly to the regulator. It has two O-rings on it as well. You want to make sure that you're very, very careful in not cutting those. 
So just go ahead and kind of insert that back in there. Go ahead and insert the gas line into your uh, regulator. And then from there, I'll usually just uh, drop that back into place. Like I said, any any you know, if you have any dirt or debris on any of these parts, make sure you get them you know wiped down thoroughly. From there, you got your bolt. Make sure you wipe it down real thoroughly. Get any paint or dirt or debris off that. Then you have your bolt spring. And one thing that you can do, and this is one thing that I also like to do, I will uh, go ahead and put the bolt and the spring assembly back on. And then uh, you want to make sure your ball latch. Put your ball latch in there along with your breech window which like I said it's kinda of hard to see in this video but you wanna make sure you have your breech window in there just go ahead and well, you don't wanna forget your your o-ring for your buffer I usually set the o-ring right right here on top you're gonna to go ahead and get that back into place Give me a hard time here. Get your spring back in there. Like I said, make sure that ball latch is kind of lined up there. You just kind of slide that assembly in. I usually just kind of hold that with my index finger. Put your barrel shroud back in. And that'll kind of hold the whole assembly in place. Like I said, you'll see that it'll spring back up a little bit. And that's okay, that's perfectly fine. When it's doing that, you definitely want to make sure that your ball latch doesn't fall back down because then it'll make it really hard to put everything back together and you'll have to pull it all out and, you know, tip your ball latch back up straight. So from there, you got all your assembly back in there. I'll usually put a little, like, one or two drops of oil right there on the bolt and the bolt spring before I go ahead and put everything back together. Take your receiver. Now, before you put your receiver back on, check to make sure that, you know, Obviously, your magazine release isn't, you know, falling to the inside of your, you know, your magazine well there. So what I usually do is I'll hold it with my index finger, kind of slide the receiver back on, and you're still kind of guiding everything. Now, usually the valve will kind of stick out a little bit. You can kind of push that in from this direction using, like, your middle finger, your index finger. And then your button has a tendency to fall in towards the magwell. You can take a small Allen key or a screwdriver, just kind of put that in and push it back out to where you can get a hold of it with your finger. And then it should spring back out. And from there, go ahead and push your receiver down. And there's also a little, and it's going to be hard to see, but there's a little hook on the bottom of your uh, magwell there. And you'll see if you kind of gentle with it, it'll snap back into place and it'll hold your receiver together for you. So then we'll go ahead and reinsert our barrel. And like I said before with that breech bolt, if you kind of push the uh, barrel forward, it'll allow that breech bolt to slide all the way down into place. Then you'll go ahead, you'll put your CO2 cap back on, and then from there just tighten down your bolts. You know, thread in your barrel all the way, make sure that's in there correctly and then slide your magazine back in just to make sure that your magazine release button's working. And that pretty much is the uh, basic disassembly, reassembly, and uh, maintenance of your TPX.